Okay, so you're given a function that uh, is introduced typically at, at uh, the school I teach at. Uh, it's introduced in Calc 1. It's called the floor function. And it's introduced when you start talking about derivatives and stuff and continuity. Okay, so um, I'm going to graph it out for you. And the derivative graph that I, I don't know the antiderivative of that floor function, by the way. And I got to go from 0 to 5. So let's put some numbers down here for 1, and then 2, and 3, and then 4, and then 5. Let me get a different color out now. So when you're between the numbers um, 0 and 1, I'm, I'm trying to graph this over here, by the way. So when you number between numbers 0 and 1, the floor of that would be 0. So this graphs out like this. At 0, at 0. And as soon as you hit the 1, there's going to be a jump back up to 1. And then when you stick between 1 and 2, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to always be at 1 until you get to 2, and then it's going to jump. And then between 2 and 3, it's going to go along until it hits the number 3, and then it's going to jump to um, up to 3. So forth and so on. I think I'm getting a little better at this. And I'm going to write it down now. The integration, what does it look like? And the integration is going to look like this then. So this integration, 0 to 5 of the floor of x dx is going to look like 0 to 1. We're doing the first interval. And that height of that is just going to be 0 dx. Plus, now we're going to start up at 1, stop at 2. Its height's going to be 1. All right, so we did this one, did that one. Let's do the next one. It's going to go from 2 to 3. Its height is 2 dx. Let's do the next one. That's going to be 3 to 4. The height of that is 3 dx. Last but not least, we go from 4 to 5, and the height of that one's going to be 4. I'm going to give my eraser out. Time to integrate. And the integrations are really not that bad to do, by the way. So, for example, the first integration is 0. Just did that. Let's do the next one. What's that going to be? Plus, well, it's always a height of 1, but it's between 1 and 2. So that's going to be, um, let's see, it's a height of 1 and a length, the, it's, the base of it's 1. That's 1. The next one, the base is still 1, by the way. The height now is 2. The next one's base is going to be 1, its height is going to be 3. Next guy's base is 1, its height is going to be 4. This is a simple geometry, by the way. And what does that give me? It gives me 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is going to give me the number 10. Check in the key. Whoops. And I'm seeing it. It's number 10. And I'll, by the way, I'm also seeing the work, by the way, which is good to say. Thank you.